for me, the horrendous level of the violence that that child suffered in the last 12 hours of her life, and indeed beyond that, in three separate episodes, but particularly that in the last 12 hours of her life where she suffered broken bones, broken ribs, facial injuries, bruising, all sorts of m m mistreatment. And then for the parents to compound that infamy with not even having the decency to say who that child actually is. And for that surviving twin to potentially never know whether she, which name she was born with, I think that's just incomprehensible. The injury to the nose was, or should have been, blatantly apparent to anybody who had day-to-day -day contact with, uh, with her. I've seen it described by two different experts as a pinching injury, um, one of whom described it in court as having had a clip put across the child's nose for a sufficient amount of time to cut off the blood supply to that area so the flesh actually died and she would have been left with a permanent deformity on her nose. Callous, manipulative, um, I know because I saw it and my colleagues have reported it to me that outside the courtroom they didn't appear to have a care in the world and the only time they did have a care in the world was when the jury were filing back in and they were convicted and then the tears were solely for themselves, not that deceased child. Fresh from them being convicted of what I can only describe as a bestial crime, I think that's what they are really, beastly.